ヘルピーリアヘルピーパパルイユヘルヘルピーコーストカスティン、ヘルピー、スペンテロングワール、ゲーゼン、サイレンネイトウォール、ウィスパイレン。ファイナリー、スポーク。イッツェッ、フェアウェル、ウィスパイレン、ウィスパイレン、ウィスパイレン、ウィスパイレン、ウィスパイレン、ウィスパイレン、ウィスパイレン、ウィスパイレン、ウィスパイレン、ウィスパイレン、ウィスパイレン、ウィスパイレン、ウィスパイレン、ウィスパイレン、ウィスパイレン、ウィスパイレオッケー。I can't entrust it to just anyone. Oh, wait. Aren't you the adventurer who helped Martinet in the Lord's Aid? You made the wolf hunting contest possible, didn't you? Please deliver it to Ilira at the Starlight Observatory ruins. Oh, I'm so glad this contract can be completed on time. The Resistance always lends a helping hand to those in need. We get requests to help with everything from minor problems to high risk life or death missions. Normally, only resistance soldiers can do this, but you have Clay's token, right? If he trusts you, we certainly can too. Take a look at some contracts if you want. Now, take this to Ilira at the Starlight Observatory ruins. Oh, don't forget to open the waypoint into your Stella Fields on the way, hmm? Take care. Oh, and before you go, You should stop by Marianne, the accessories crafter, and pick up some accessories. The better your gear, the stronger the monsters you can take on. Take a look at the contracts before you start your adventure. I assure you the rewards are worth it. See that smashed head? I did that. Me!
It is said that long ago the seeds of a flower with jewels for petals fell on an unnamed land and it became the beautiful field it is today. Goblins have long occupied and mined this mysterious gem-rich land and they do not hesitate to slaughter any human who dares disturb them.
Adventurers who challenge Emerson's lucky storm. Take care and check you out everything. I hate working in this rain. Me. Make it work. What can I do for you? Only resistance soldiers can take on contracts. Oh, it's you! I heard a lot about you from Nos. You're said to be quite talented. Nice to meet you. You've got Clay's token, right? Then you're officially part of the Resistance. While you're here, how would you like to try taking on a contract? Here, take a look at these contracts. Don't worry, they all have generous rewards. Some good contracts. Nice. Oh no. Ruby's at it again. Oh, that's my goblin friend over there, who's been pretty upset lately. I don't know what's going on. Wondering, I saw the Arstella clan collecting weapons. They said they were going to hunt humans. I heard it clearly with my own two ears. If we don't come up with a plan quickly, we'll all die. I spoke to the watch captain, but he didn't believe me. Friend, I never lie. Thank you. I hope the watch captain can trust you like family and come up with countermeasures. Really? Oh, you give me hope, brother. You can find the Watch Captain at Red Moon Lake in Carmine Forest. Good luck. Long ago, the mages of Venelux built an observatory to watch the stars in the sky. But the Archeum destroyed the tower, leaving it in ruins. It is now being used as a base for those adventuring in the Estella Fields, Carmine Forest, and the Nesting Grounds. At the request of Castleton Contract Manager Nas, you met with Elira, the contract manager at the Starlight Observatory Ruins. She said that she could use some help, and suggested that you take on a contract.
contract scroll to Elira, the contract manager of the Starlight Observatory Ruins, and you've fulfilled the contract at her request. You can use the contract coins you received from fulfilling contracts to purchase items from contract coin merchants. What brings you here? Who said that? Was it that goblin again? Don't waste your time and energy. Be on your way. Um, can you please... That story... doesn't believe what that goblin says it's because of something that happened 10 years ago i don't know oh the captain would believe me if there was any clear evidence
off into the woods or the abyss, wherever you go. Did the watch captain really believe you? You're amazing, brother! How did you do it? Tell me your secret. Possessing a black heart. Front paws through the spider. Is this what it says? Is this all? This isn't enough. Goblins always write in three phrases. <sighs> the last sentence is torn off. Ruby was perplexed after seeing the orders. Goblins always write in sets of three sentences, but the last sentence had been torn off and was missing. Ruby said that if you went to find Henson, the former watch captain, he would help you find the torn pieces. Already? Wow, you're good. Don't forget you can use your contract coins to buy goods from contract coin merchants. Castleton is the closest, so speak with the local contract coin merchant next time you're in town. What is it? This is a dangerous place and best avoided. Well, some people call me that. Possessing a black heart? Those goblins colluded with Archeum. Where did you get this document? I see. The last part is torn from this parchment. It means the order is about to be executed. But we don't know the details. How troublesome. Oh, 
And goblins always perform a special ritual before a major operation, sharing the details to their members. We might be able to find out what this is all about from the ritual. A goblin agitator is leading the ritual. We'll need to figure out the meaning of the final sentence. Will you do that? Thank you. Come meet me here when you find the last piece. Oh, and watch out for the giant goblin butcher. Henson's expression hardened after reading the goblin's commands. The one-eyed hawk said that the fact the final sentence was torn off meant they were about to carry out the mission. Henson said, you must hurry to find the missing sentence. You want to use the... Hi there! Got any contract coins? If you need anything, you can buy it here with contract coins. Take your pick. Oh, perfect timing. I've got some nice stuff for you. Welcome. I'm the contract manager from the Allied Resistance Forces. Want to take a I heard the contract scroll got to the Starlight Observer. seasoned Amatoi veteran told you about adventures available only to Amatoi. Your little friends can now go on their own exciting expeditions. A keen weapon for those who know the entire crafting process. I can make any type of armor you need. Necklaces, earrings, rings. Oh, hello, adventurer. Do you need new accessories? Oh, <laughs> you're curious about accessory crafting. If you bring the materials, I can make you great accessories. You have to have accessories to be a true adventurer. I'll give you some of the materials I have left over. Make any accessory you see fit. At the urging of the contract manager, Noss, you visited the Castleton Accessories crafter, Marianne. She explained that accessories can be crafted by gathering materials, and she gave you materials to make an accessory. The result seems quite pleasant indeed. <laughs> Want to hear something even more helpful? It's a way to bring out your gear's full potential. Upgrade your equipment! You can improve all your favorite gear. Keep at it, and you can make your equipment even more powerful. Since you'll be traveling in dangerous places, I'll give you some upgrade materials. That way, you can upgrade your equipment yourself. Try upgrading the accessory you just made to practice. Well, that's all I have for you. I hope it helps. 
Marianne crafted an accessory for you. She said upgrading the accessory could make it even more powerful. Take a look at our beautiful and exquisite accessories. Marion's guidance, you successfully upgraded the accessory. The accessory became more powerful, just as she said. enough materials come one come all take a look at our new weapons and armor welcome i'm the contract Do you want to use the, the car oh, perfect Let's time take a look at the contract. i've got some nice stuff for you which are paid to those who complete contracts, are a currency circulated among the Resistance. Resistance soldiers use these coins to purchase special items. In order to keep the supply equal amongst the forces, the contract coin merchant places a limit on the daily number of purchases. Oh, yeah. 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 
talking to Ruby at the Starlight Observatory ruins, right? Let me introduce myself. I am Ariella. I am researching the Estella Fields Monument Stones and the local goblins. Ruby has been feeling uneasy lately, and the goblins have been acting strangely. Based on my investigation, they appear to be gathering here, and they seem to be preparing for an important ritual. But I have no clue what that might be. Do you have any ideas? Huh? Then they're here for... that ritual? How fascinating! I absolutely must know more. <laughs> I have an idea, adventurer. I will morph you into a goblin, then you can listen in on their gathering. Oh, infiltration isn't one of my strong suits. Better if I send an expert like you to find out what the goblin's objective is. Good luck. Here, I'll morph you. Listen up! The ritual is starting! This is our time! A celebration of goblins! By goblins! For goblins! Now, let's begin! <laughs> the last emblem. Don't forget, meet us there! On the day of battle, the Erstella goblins tear off the last sentence of their chieftain's orders and divide it up to carry amongst themselves. If you gather all of the pieces, you can complete the missing sentence. Good job. Front paws to the spider, and tail towards the star. They plan to lure the resistance into Carmine Forest, and take control of the Starlight Observatory ruins. How cunning. The Starlight Observatory ruins are in a strategic spot and must be defended. Go to the Starlight Observatory ruins and let the god know about the goblin's attack plan. In the meantime, I'll gather some troops. Time is of the essence. Hurry. I'll meet you there. The missing sentence said that an elite contingent of Estella goblins was headed for the Starlight Observatory ruins. You went back to the ruins to warn the gods of the ominous news. Hearing this, Henson left to assemble troops. Oh! 
What's the matter? What? An attack? Everyone already left under Captain Ruffalo's order. Oh no. Are you okay? I'm fine. Swarm it. Surprise attack! I thought. Adventurer, we'll block the entrance. Please activate the magic trap set on the uphill path. Looks like we got rid of them all. They won't come back. Right? Huh? What's that? Coming back? Again? What to do? We've used all the magic traps. There's one thing we're testing at the top of the hill. I I'm not sure. It's still incomplete. There's no other choice. Ivedra, activate the magic trap at the end of the ruined observatory. We'll take care of the goblins in the meantime. Good! A success! It was a bit risky this time. We'd have been in quite a pickle if it hadn't been for you, Petra. 
Thank you, adventurer. Not yet. What are you doing? Kill them! This is ours from this day forward! What's the huge monster? Stop them! Everyone descend! We have to block the entrance somehow! We can't let that monster in! No! There are too many enemies! Adventurer! You have to hang in there! Sorry I'm late. Leave the rest to us. Good! The one I hope has come! It's been a long time, Condola the Butcher! Support Ganola. Kill the shamans first. I'll handle Ganola. everyone there may be important orders among the chief's belongings look closely on ruffalo's order only a minimal guard had been left at the starlight observatory ruins taking advantage of the lack security elite goblin troops attacked henson's support appeared just in the nick of time leading to a victory against the goblins Where the hell did you find this? It's my armband from back in the day. Thanks for finding it. Do you mind bringing this to Ruffalo? About time this armband gets itself a new owner. He'll get more use out of it than me. Come to think of it, 
I don't think we've had a chance for introductions. Where are you from? Wisp Island. Do you happen to know anyone named Jan Junath? Ah, I see. Jan is my friend who used to travel around Silesium with me. If it weren't for that insidious Kalanthia. That was such a long time ago. I'll see you later. We defended the Carmine Forest. You helped protect the Starlight Observatory. And you're not even a member of the Resistance. My thanks. This is his armband. How did you get this? Captain Henson wants me to have this? Me? I don't deserve this. Ten years ago, most of the patrol members died in a plot by the Archeum Legion. Only Captain Henson, myself, Gistil, and Zizero survived. Before I knew it, I was running away. I brought in reinforcements, but it was too late. My comrades died and the captain lost an eye. Well, he's quite magnanimous. Sorry, but can I ask you a favor? I now know how Captain Henson feels. So you can return this to its true owners. To my comrades who died there ten years ago, fighting to the bitter end. I can't leave my post, so I would ask you to do it for me. You will find the monument of Gestal and Zizero in the Starlight Observatory ruins. Please bury this armband under the monument. After being given the armband, Ruffalo protested that it truly belonged to someone else. He asked you to deliver it to his comrades, who fell in battle a decade ago. It is time to go and find the resting heroes.
into the woods or the abyss. Wherever you go, as long as you're well prepared, you have enough. Oh, hello! I saw you driving away those goblins. You were amazing! <laughs> it's okay. I wanted to help, but I'm way too clumsy to do something like this. No matter how much I practice, I can't get the moves right. Now that we've stopped the assault, I'm thinking of collecting mystic globes. Oh, didn't you know? A mystic globe used to be Archeum Legion's treasure box. But then the Steel Credit Union invented a mystic key to open the globe, turning them literally into a lucky box. You might see them if you have a mystic key. The Archeum Legion did their best to hide them, so who knows where you might find them. Here, I'll give you one of mine. Consider it a token of thanks for preventing the attack. Now, search for Mystic Glow. Luck always finds you in unexpected places. It's no different for adventurers. It's clearly your lucky day when you encounter a mystic globe while exploring. into the woods or... Enjoy your adventure, but don't forget that there's nothing more precious than your life. You feel something familiar. Are you one who has the power of the stars? Of course, you are. Could you listen to my story for a little while? I've been drawing since I was young. I can't see, but it feels like some mysterious power is leading the brush. I drew that painting when I was young. It's a painting I gave to my dad as a gift. People get scared when I show it to them. Uh, adventurer. Could you have a look at my picture? I think you may discover something in it. Please. Thank you. The painting is there, so please take a look. I covered it with a cloth because people were afraid. But you can uncover it. Did you miss something? You're back again so soon. <laughs> 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 
Did you find a mystic globe? Wow, how lucky! While you search for mystic globes, you may also find mystic portals. They say these contain even more treasure. Oh, I should go find one too. The Archim Legion often relied on mystic globes and mystic portals to move supplies. For the resistance, they have become as valuable as treasure chests. In my painting. I guess only people with the star's power can enter. Wait, that's why Dad was always... Uh, never mind. Thanks to you, I solved the mystery. I think I understand now. Thank you. Please come look at my painting anytime if you think it will help you. The painter Ashian had many works depicting the Starlight Observatory ruins, some of which had a strange power. It pulled those who carried stars in and transported them to a far-off place. Once there, those bearing stars have the opportunity to enhance their abilities. Ten years ago, craftsmen in the employ of the Archeum Legion secretly visited the resistance soldiers at the observatory offering a huge reward for aid in stealing gems from the goblins. The soldiers, who were suffering through a famine, were overwhelmed with temptation. All but three of them left the camp. 
While the guards were away, the waiting Archeum battle platoon readied for the attack. Watch Captain Henson understood the situation all too well. He told the three remaining guards to flee, and one of them, Ruffalo, escaped into the woods with his head hung low. Battling against an endless sea of enemies, the two remaining guards died horrible deaths. Henson, who lost an eye, rose again each time he fell, sword held high. Just as Henson, gravely wounded, neared his own death, Ruffalo returned. He had not fled at all, but instead brought reinforcements who drove back the enemy forces. Although the bravery of Henson and his men saved many lives, he blamed himself for the death of the soldiers and resigned as watch captain. Ten years later, he still quietly defends the front lines and is admired and respected by the local resistance forces. Henson's former comrades performed their duty until the very end. Their honor and perseverance earned them a place deep within the Resistance's hearts. Can you hear me? Is anyone there? If you can hear me, please touch Luna's head. Oh, thank goodness. The connection is working. Can you hear me? The once green forest lost its vitality and withered to a darkish red, becoming what it is today. They say that the blood spiders, now the masters of Carmine Forest, will capture any humans who set foot there for use as sacrifices.
hope whoever I spoke to arrives soon. Oh, yes? Can I help you? Oh, goodness. It's a pleasure to meet you. I am Retain. You really came. What a relief. I'm currently investigating a disappearance in Vienta Village. But I'm running out of time and urgently need the help of a magic wielder. So, I left Luna 17 behind and set it to communicate with me when it detects someone nearby who can wield magic. Right beside Laslan is a dominion called Stoneguard. The biggest town there is called Vienta. Recently, a child named Lucille went missing from the village. The Resistance has launched a search to find her. The problem is that even after a day of searching, there's no sign of her. We expanded the search area, and my friends and I are now investigating the nesting grounds and Carmine Forest. A monster known as Morakai lives in this Carmine Forest. If the child did come all the way out here, she's in grave danger. I've hidden mana recording devices throughout the forest to keep track of Morakai's movements. Could you please retrieve those devices for me? In the meantime, I will search Morakai's hideout for any signs of the child. I hid them in clusters of spider eggs around the forest. I made them so that only magic wielders can recover them, keeping them safe from monsters that could damage them. Dig them out of the spider eggs and the clamps will loosen in response to your magic. Then, just bring them back to me. While Routine was busy investigating the monster Morakai's nest, you wandered around the forest collecting the hidden mana recording devices. You fought off the spiders that interrupted you and collected the devices that had been hidden in bundles of spider eggs. With those in hand, you can see if there have been any signs of the missing child. You're back already. I hope you didn't run into any trouble. Thank you. I'll check these for any sign of the child. Please wait a moment. Hmm. There's no trace of the child on this device either. This isn't good. Hmm. In Morakai's hideout, I, I found a crumpled letter that says, Abduct children. In any case, it seems the child is not missing, but rather kidnapped. If she's not in the forest, they might have taken her somewhere else. Oh. I must let my comrades know. Oh, you can deliver a message for me. Uh, thank you. This way I can continue my search in the north side of the forest. A comrade of mine, Robert, is currently searching for any traces of the child in the nesting grounds. Uh, please pass this new information on to him. Routine, having analyzed the mana recording devices, confirmed that there were no signs of children in the forest but also said that he had found orders to abduct children in Morakai's nest. Knowing that the situation was even graver if it was a kidnapping rather than a disappearance, he asked you to inform Robert, another member of the terrific trio. He also mentioned that Robert would be looking for the missing child in the nesting grounds.
red flowers bloom across this beautiful meadow located between Laslin and Stoneguard. However, contrary to its appearance, it is home to aggressive creatures such as terror birds and quillixes, which is troubling for the merchants who pass through. you. Do you have b- mm, I could tell from the spider webs all over your shoes. Has Retain already finished his investigation? What? He discovered an order to kidnap children? Dear gods, no wonder we were unable to find any traces, no matter how hard we searched. Hang on. Hmm. Now that you mention it, something did feel off back there. I'd better investigate again. I saw some wrecked carriages here and there across the nesting grounds. They seemed strange, but I didn't notice anything particular. But what if the kidnappers did that on purpose so there wouldn't be any clues left? That's what happened. I'll check again for even the smallest trace they might have left behind to tell us who did this or where they went. Oh, all right then. You seem to know what you're doing. I'll go and investigate over this way. So could you take a look at the abandoned carriage and the terror bird nest over there? All right, I'll go and track down the kidnappers. If you find anything, come back over here. Let's share what we find. 